the App State Mountaineers, Appalachian State. Starting with a big boy. Now, it, is it Appalachian or Appalachian or Appalachian? I, I, I firmly believe that we 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 live born, in Mississippi. Raised, so we <laughs> live in Mississippi. We get kind of one of those blanket passes for saying things incorrectly if we would that's, like. That's a very good point. Like my wife's family is from Ohio. They say they have like they what's supposed to be everything exactly the most, correctly. The purest form of the American English language. She should probably have to say it right. Yeah. I get away with saying it however the hell I want. People just assume, oh, he's, 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 he's from the dummy. South. He's okay. <laughs> he's he's from Mississippi. It's I, okay. I say Appalachian State. Appalachian State. How do you so, say it? I say Appalachian State. That's, that sounds but, perfect. But I think it's better if we just said App State. That, I'm That's what everybody that. calls them anyway, right? So, App State. All right, so the Mountaineers, 11-2 and two last year, 7-1 and one in the conference. This was a dynamite football team last year correct uh they got nine starters back on offense six on defense look as far as experience goes they're number three in the conference but number nine in the country Country. i was just about to say i mean they bring back a ton of people uh head coach uh scott satterfield he left for louisville like he went 51 and 24 in six seasons the new coach eli drinkwitz uh he was north carolina state's offensive coordinator um, from 16 through 18, he was Boise State's OC back in 15. Uh, Zach Thomas returns at quarterback, junior running back, uh, Darrington Evans. He had 1,220-plus rushing yards last year. Uh, seven of their top eight receivers are back. Like, this offense should not miss a beat. That's it shouldn't. Right. Now, obviously, we'll see. Ted Roof uh, takes over the defense. They had the number six total defense last year, number four scoring defense, number five passing defense. Secondary leads the FBS with 73 interceptions since 2015. I don't think we're going to see a huge drop-off this year. Uh, I think there will be a little bit of one, though. I think there will be a small one, and and where I think the drop-off will mainly fall is is can can Drinkwitz, am I saying that right? Yeah, Drinkwitz. Drinkwitz, can he bring the program to a level where they are known for knocking off big boys when they go on the road to play these power five schools. And they've got they've got an they've, opportunity. They've got a couple. Yeah, they've got they've got two of them with on, on the at schedule. North Carolina and at South Carolina. And neither one of them are monsters. It's it, you're exactly. not you're not going to Tuscaloosa. Okay? No. You're no. not going to the shoe. It, it's it's not like going to Penn State last no, year. That's right. And that's they right. almost did that. That that you're absolutely um, right. They almost both knocked these, off Tennessee a couple of years ago. Like both, people still remember that game. Both of these are winnable. Yeah. I don't think they're going to win them. I don't either. Based on the way I have the record, I, I don't either. Yeah. But that this is where the coaching difference could could come in. Yes, um, you're losing what now, would be I, a legend I, in this this realm of. Oh, you're 100 percent right about that. I mean, uh, Satterfield how, will always. I should be a have legend. known this, and I should have looked this up before we started. I'll ask you because you will know it. How long since they kind of left Division Two A and actually joined the Sun Belt? When was, was that? Two years 20, ago? No, 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 no. That's been multiple years. I thought it was. It's it's been more a while. recent than not. No, it, here, look, I got this thing. I can pull it up right now. Uh, it's mean, it's been a little us, while because we don't want to um, go too long on one team. No, be here no all I think night. I think this will be fine. But uh, it, but no, it's it's been a little bit. I I want to say maybe six, seven years. Oh, that's way longer than I thought. Um, so I was I was definitely would have taken the under. No, I I think it's been a little while, but I I do know this. They um like they have been successful basically since they got into Division 1. Yeah. Let's Whatever see. we call this new subdivision uh, uh, since uh since 2014. Okay, so 4 years. So that would be 4 years. When I, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, I guess so. Okay. I, this will be the 6th uh, year. This will be the 6th year. So in in those years, I mean, it, they've made it to a bowl game Every year except for – so they, they won the Sun Belt the last three years. Yeah, I was about to say, they won it like three in a row. And was it their first year that they didn't make a bowl? I want to say, yeah. And then after that, they've been bowl eligible every year? I mean, they've been rocking everybody. Yeah, because 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, they have made bowl games yes, every year. Okay. Satterfield, uh, Satterfield's unreal. Well, like, yeah, he's, just, he's just ridiculous. Uh and what's crazy is they still should have made a bowl game in 2014. Like, they were seven and five in his first season in FBS, but two main teams it, for bowl his eligible. his first season as a head coach was 2013, and he took over App State. They were still in the Southern Conference in FCS, and he went four and eight. 
and then they make the jump to FBS, and you're supposed to get worse. You're supposed to fall backwards. And they that's, went from four and eight to seven and five. That's some belt money, to, man. Oh yeah, four four and eight to seven and five to eleven and two to ten and three nine and four ten and two. So, I, I mean, he's yeah. This this team, uh, the the program itself, they care about that football program. Correct. And I do think that they got a good coach. I Two like years Dragons. ago, they hosted Miami. Yeah. Mark Rick brought Miami on the road to play in a little stadium that looked like it held 5,000 people. Yeah. Now, how they got that? Well, Miami plays a lot of those games anyway. Like, they've done it before. It's I mean, not they played the at first Toledo time last year. I would say it's not the first time that they've ever done it, but it was just – it really – that had to be the smallest stadium that Miami's played in. Probably so. I mean, Toledo right. Stadium looked like a dwarf, that thing. Yeah. It, I it might be wrong. Crazy. It just did, It just looked different with the mountains behind it and whatever. But it it did look. I mean, it was tiny, and and Miami did. I mean, they handled them pretty good. Well, yeah. I mean, but uh, all right. So as far as this right. year goes, I, look, I've got if, them at if, nine and three. They finished eleven and two last year. Eleven and two. I've, Seven and one in conference. Yep. Won the division. The, dominated yep. the, the 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 Sun Belt again. And dominated the bowl game even without Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Correct. Correct. Had a great great showing. Who coached the bowl game? The. Uh, you know what? It's got it listed here. I yeah. think Mark Ivy. Believe that was, was the he guy. The, he was the OC, correct? Believe that is correct. I should have. All these you, questions. You got all these come questions. Come <laughs> when, we're, when we go live. We're it not, we're all right, live. it was we Mark are, Ivy. Yeah. And I have no idea if he was. I think he was the OC. I would. I, I would be willing to bet that he was the OC. That's okay. And so you got you got the guy right. I'll give you props yep. on that. What do you think they fall to this year? Because we both have I, them taking a little bit of a step back. I got them nine and three. Got them nine and three. Okay. Now I've got them losing at Troy, at South Carolina, at North Carolina, beating everybody else. And even even those other games, I think are probably going to be pretty close because I think North Carolina is going to take a little bit under Mac Brown. South Carolina is still like they're going to play. You know, they're going to do what they do in the SEC. I have no idea what to expect from them. But well, with South Carolina, what you can expect is against these. Pretty good group of five teams. Small teams, they're gonna. They're gonna they struggle. are. They're gonna struggle, and they'll win by like one possession. And against the big teams, they're gonna. They're gonna struggle. And they're gonna. It, they're gonna lose by. Well, but two, some, I mean, they, they could end up beating <laughs> Texas A and M by right. two touchdowns. They could beat you know who. I, I know, I know. I'm just they, saying they can win the game. I they, don't know that they get blown out by many people. I don't know that they blow out anybody. That's and we'll we'll talk about South Carolina later on. That's but right. it, App State, like App State's definitely gonna blow some teams out. Oh yeah, um, well, there's some teams to be had on the schedule. Yes, I mean that's just part of playing in the Sun Belt. Now it it does it does scare me. Like there's there are some games. Obviously, they get Georgia Southern at home. I think that's revenge spot. I think they're going to get that one. I was about to say that matters. The game at Louisiana, like it's on a Wednesday night. They've got a bye week the week before. Obviously, I mean if you're playing on Wednesday, you got to whatever. But at Louisiana, like that could that could be a really difficult. If Billy game, Napier man. has got some. Now I think it's going to take a little time to you know develop the talent that he brought in. But it's it he's recruiting and he's got talent there and he's a good coach. Yeah, I mean it's it's just going to be tough. No, you're you're right about that. Um, and they right. get Troy on the road, right? Yes. So that, that's that's the biggest thing yeah. is you play two in conference games against two what are going to be well coached teams. I know Troy's got a new coach, but. We like Chip Lindsey. We'll get into that when they get to yep. Troy. So, um, all right. So let's move off of App State. I've got them nine and three. You got them nine and three. I got them nine and three. Uh, both of us six and two in conference. I didn't. I don't really. Or do sorry, that. sorry. I don't. Do I've that. got them. I've got them seven and one in conference. I put this down wrong. Okay. Because so I've only you, got them losing at Troy. You don't have them losing both those games. I've got them losing to North Carolina and South Carolina, but I don't have them losing two conference games. So I've never done the. I think they'll win this game. I think they'll lose that game. I just yeah. think overall, this is how I think they're gonna. They're going to pan out. If they end up beating – and here's the reason my, – this is the way my brain works. If they beat North Carolina, they pull off that big upset, I could easily see them losing one of these conference games against a Louisiana or a Troy that they might not have lost. I just kind of think well, I mean, like football if, karma it, always seems to work its way out. Say that they win at South Carolina. Georgia State isn't great, but they've got – you know, they got some dudes. they got some talent. So – you know, it's that, but then you've also got like if you're really gearing up for uh, Georgia Southern, you know, do you have a letdown game? Do you have a letdown game at South Alabama the week before? That's, that's it. Like you're you're preparing for this weird triple option, and then now you go play a different team with a different yeah. style. And and, and South and Alabama again, talent they haven't done a lot with it. Yeah, that's right. 
but they have pulled off some crazy upsets. Th- this is why I don't over the like years. pinpoint. And maybe I maybe I guess it's a cop out, but I don't like saying I think they'll win this game. I think they'll lose this game. I'm gonna give you a record. Man, I'll put my name on everything. I'm I all know. good. That's I'm fine. all good. If people want to talk trash, well, I'm not worried about the it. trash talking. It's just I just think it always kinds of works kind of works out this way. I can understand and that. I've been way off on some of these, so all right, so we we spent forever on App State. Now we're going to roll through uh, the other four from this division. Uh, and then we'll have another segment uh, probably the next day, whatever. We're pre-recording this, just so you know. Um,